Pierce, Boom. looking fantastic as always, buddy. Uh, looking on the cover of GQ magazine right here, by the way. That's sweet. Yeah, well, I mean, come on. It's, it's the boys inside, though. All the, those are the ones, my boys. Oh, yeah. Yes. They're inside as well. But look, but look, come on, let's go back to you. Thank Tonight you. is about you. This, what is it like to be so good looking? No, oh, <laughs> let's yeah. get to the let's get to the hard hitting question. Yeah, well, what long may it last, Jimmy. <laughs> long may it last. Yeah, uh, so far so good. How uh, are you keeping? You're looking all grown up now with your beard. And <laughs> really, you're kind of I appreciate it. the beard. Yeah, thank you very much. It's cool, man. It it's, is majestic. Cool. <laughs> it's, just... it's majestic. It's uh, majestic. You're the greatest. Come on, it is, man. Uh, I, I love having you on. I love talking Thanks. about your painting, by the way. You know I'm a big fan of your paint, uh, your paintings. Appreciate it. Uh, they're gorgeous, and you're actually about to have your first show. May uh, May 13th, that's it, next year. I've postponed this so many times because of work, and so finally I've said, whatever movie I'm doing, I'm going to do the show. Santa Monica, May 13th. And, you're doing uh, it. Are you I'm nervous? <clears throat> yeah, well, not now, but I will be then. Yeah, exactly. Probably, yeah. You know, when you well, how many in... years have you been painting? I mean, I... Since, I say, 87. Yeah. 1987. I mean, I'm self-taught. You're so talented. I uh, want to show a couple just so we can see. Yeah, this go one. ahead, man. Go uh, ahead. This one, I, this one I actually love. I wish this one's called Earplugs. Yep, painted. <laughs> it's, it's original. Well, I don't I, know why I, we started with this one, but I do enjoy this one. I really do like this. It, it is. It's really nice. I'm a big Lichtenstein, Roy Lichtenstein, a great artist. Yes. I'm a big fan of his work, and I painted it when I was doing uh, Goldeneye down at Leaveson Studios. Yeah, so, that's what I'm talking about. There you go. Well, and they and, did you used to have, <laughs> I'm assuming, Huh? I'm assuming you'd have to wear earplugs for a lot of the scenes. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, you have to. They give you these little packets every time there's explosions, and so I thought I'd just paint it. So over six months, I painted that. Yeah, and you made it into a work of art. I love that's that. That's it. Uh, um, this one uh, is Picasso. Picasso. He is. Uh, you know, he influences me. I'm very. I know, right? Appreciative of his work. He's great inspiration. He is. You know, it all begins and starts and ends with Pablo. Uh, so. what, what, what got you into uh, art? I, I, oh God, Do you remember your first time you go like, oh, wow, because I, I... Well, I, I left school at 16, 17 with, with nothing but a cardboard folder of drawings and paintings. Got a job in a little studio in Putney, South London, and I thought I'm off to be an artist. And then uh, I discovered right? acting, or <laughs> yeah. acting discovered me. Yeah, exactly. You know, and thank God you made thank those God choices. Thank God for that. No, we were really? so happy. We oh. loved it. I mean, congrats on the art show, but I mean... Thanks. Pierce Brosnan, I mean, you've kind of done everything, buddy. It's fantastic. Oh, well, it's work in progress, Jimmy. You know, yeah. It really is. You know but what now, it's like, so. now you're a superhero. Now I'm a superhero. I didn't now, expect Now you've this. actually done everything. You really have. I mean, this is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was the last thing on my mind to be playing a superhero like uh, Dr. Fate. And, um, Dr. Fate, what a cool superhero to get. I mean, did you ever think like, oh, yeah, I would do these, uh, I would do a superhero movie? Yeah. If it, the right one came along, if you would do one. Oh no, I would never do one. No, no one would offer me one. But I, I, I that's not an option for me. For no. you, but well, yeah, I, I'm assuming everyone offered you a bunch of things. And you're like, well, hold on, I'm not ready. To no, do not this. really. No, I mean, I went up for Batman way back in the day when uh, when uh, Tim Burton was doing it, and oh, really? uh, obviously I didn't get the job. But uh, yeah, you, you know, had to settle I, for I, James Bond. I, sorry, was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, yeah. I remember saying something stupid to Tim Burton. Like I said, I said you know, I, I can't understand any man who would wear his underpants outside his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like... It is very interesting, yes. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. There you go. The best man got the job, and yeah. you know, Dr. Fate and I were meant to meet on the same page, I, mean, I think. You, you, here's this you as, as archaeologist, Kent Nelson, right? This mm -hmm. is, and then when you put on the golden helmet of fate, you become Dr. Fate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, when you're wearing this, and you could be honest with me, can you see anything? No. <laughs> no <laughs> Nothing Everybody at all. wants to know what it was like putting on the costume. Go, what was it like putting on the helmet? You know, you can't see a thing. It's darkness. <laughs> I mean, there, there, was, there, there were two helmets. There was a, there was this stylish, gorgeous-looking, sleek helmet that's in the other photograph. Yeah. And then there was one that I could actually physically put on. But of course, <laughs> you're standing there <clears throat> in a mocap suit, a motion capture suit, which is the most inelegant and kind of humorous thing to wear. It's, yeah. Ping pong balls everywhere. Ping pong balls, gray tights. You know, you got to have a sense of humor and. <laughs> 
I won't say it. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> we said it for you. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, we're all good. But I remember John McCollette, sir, the, the director, he said there was a point where I had to find this crown. And he said, I'm standing there and I'm giving it my best heroic acting. And he said, OK, put the helmet on. I said, don't worry, I can see it. It's right there. And it was, I put it on. Of course, I couldn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, we can't see you like that. Yeah, go ahead, just wait. Try All one right. more take, yeah. Anyway, it was good fun to do. It was a lovely company of actors. I know you had uh, Noah on last night. Yeah, Dwayne Johnson's coming on uh, is tomorrow. Dwayne coming on. Oh, good. Yeah, he's... I mean, he's, not, he's one of the greatest, uh, nicest guys you'll ever yeah. meet. And to have such a big following and such a big, such a big star, he's pretty humble, you know? Which, he is, yeah. Which I do like. Did you, did you get that vibe from him? No, very much so. We yeah. got on, I mean, I got to know him more here now on the press tour than I did on the movie. Yeah. I mean, we had an interaction on, on the film set, and the, uh, but uh, he, he's a magnificent fellow. He's kind of monolithic and beautiful and owns this role. He is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm just happy that you're, you're playing a superhero in a giant big thing, because you know I'm the biggest <laughs> fan of you, and we've talked about everything. But now you can go, yeah, I've kind of done it all now, yeah. And this is it. This is the first of many, because I could see... Well, I can see where this steady. is. Yeah, slow you know, and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Pierce Brosnan in Black Adam. Take a look at this. A wise man once told me a bad plan is better than no plan at all. That was before we had a very bad plan. Let it go. I'd rather be fighting with him than against him. What's the hell they're telling you? Somebody's going to die. Who is it? Adam Smasher? It's Adam Smasher. Surprisingly, no. Is it me? When it's time for you and I to say goodbye, you will know. All I can tell you is, there's still time to change the future. Yes! <laughs> he would be cheering in the crowd! Yes! Yes! Please. Here's Brosnan, everyone! Go see it. Black Adam opens in theaters and I'm October 21st. We're talking with Charlie Puth when we come back. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.